everybody. This is Mrs. E. <laughs> this is my son, Jake. So fun. So how are you um, bringing yourself out of your comfort zone <laughs> this uh, vacation? Um, Jake plays the ukulele, and he's been teaching me how to play the ukulele. But we really only have one in tune right now, right? So Jake's going to play, <laughs> and the two of us are going to sing a little song with the four chords that I learned. It's kind of easy. Internet gives you a lot of um, practice, right, yeah, Jake? For sure. Okay. You ready? Yeah, sure. Three, why not? Two, What's three. it called, Jake? What's it's it called Riptide. Riptide. Okay, we're only going to sing the first part of it. He's going to sing with me, right? A little bit. Where do I start? No, just wait. Alright. Here we go. I'm scared of death to say the dark. I'm scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. Oh, all my friends are turning green. You're the magician's assistant in their dreams. Is that right? Look at those chords. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> We have a puppy who just ate part of our sock. This is just real world at the Zeroff home. But you can see in the background that the Sydney Opera House uh -huh. is up on the it's screen. Pretty. So we're pretending we're in Australia because that's where the song um, Riptide comes from. The author what? or the... Vance Joy. Yes, Vance the Joy is artist. from Australia. Mm -hmm. The artist. So speaking of things to do to take uh, up some of our time... One of my kids got back into um, some um, uh, Lego building, and they built Sydney, Australia, so that's pretty fun. So there's a cool little Lego, um, ex like a little Lego building of Sydney, and there's my puppy Mavis. So um, we have no birthdays today. Um, I don't even know which special day it is, to be totally honest. It is. But Jake will look it up. March 25th. Yeah, but can you look at what special, like... Oh, special. Yeah. Oh. So, oh, um, so, in the meantime, I'm going to read a story called A World of Kindness. This is from the editors and illustrators of the Pajama Press. It's a really great book. Um, and the, the, um, the book was inspired by one of the editor's grandchildren who was feeling, like, not... Um, not so great when some people weren't being kind to them. And so the her grandchild, one of the editor's grandchild's children, was um, asking about what it means to be kind. So that was the inspiration for this book called Are You Kind? And it has a bunch of different illustrators that have contributed to this project. And before so, we start. Yeah, is there anything Special really days. Good? So there are some special birthdays today who don't go to Franklin. Oh, okay. Um, who are they? Elton John, he's oh, a singer. Oh, Elton John, he's a singer. I'm still standing. Yeah. Okay. Um, and also Aretha Franklin. Oh, Aretha Franklin. She's Can a good one. You know, when I was in elementary school, we talked a lot about respect. Mm -hmm. And that's one of her big songs. That respect. is a big song, respect. Yeah. So thanks, Jake. So those yeah. are some special birthdays, not from Franklin Randall. Okay, so now I'm going to read A World of Kindness. I already told you the inspiration and the different artists. So the first question says... Are you kind? Oh, we have a lot of kind kids at Franklin. Do you wait your turn? Do you help or will you help someone younger? I bet you have a lot of opportunities to help at your house this week and in the coming weeks with your little siblings. Or older, do you help out? anyone, right? That's showing kindness. Mm. Are you gentle with big animals? And small? Do you say please and thank you? 
it's easy, you know. Oh, I know you know how easy it is to say please and thank you and how nice it feels to others. Can you say I'm sorry if you're ever wrong? Sometimes really hard to do, isn't it? Could you share something special? Like teach someone how to ride a bike? When is when someone is shy, do you help them join in? Will you watch over someone else who needs your help? When someone is sad, will you comfort them? Will you be a friend to someone new? And that, my friend, is how a little kindness can grow into a world of kindness. So small actions that you do every day at your house with your family can turn into a world of kindness, right? At Franklin, we've talked about the ripple of kindness. Sometimes your small gesture of showing how to be kind to someone else can multiply into others feeling that kindness. And who knows how far that ripple effect goes. So that's my book for tonight. Hope everyone is doing great. And um, I loved seeing, um, I saw the Monsons had a really fun um, obstacle course in, uh, out in their neighborhood today. Um, there were so many kids that came by our house today to do um, the chalk obstacle course. So hope that you um, are spreading kindness in little and big ways, right? So those little gestures, helping someone at your house, drawing something on your sidewalk that someone else that walks by might see and appreciate. All those little things um, are the things that count, right? So I miss you all. Take care.